Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video guys, we're going to learn how to use Stable View inside our JavaFX application. So basically guys, JavaFX um, Table View enables you to display um, tabular data inside your JavaFX application. So it has like rows and columns and then you could have uh, many rows, you could have many columns inside your JavaFX application. So you could display, say for example, list of student or list of employees inside your JavaFX application. So in this particular tutorial, we're going to create a simple application that could display employees. So the employee has like the ID, the first name, the last name, and um, the optional one is age. So there will be like four columns inside our JavaFX table view. So I have here created the demo project, which is demo table view, and I have three files, the main.fxml file for our layout, and then we have the main.java, which is the main um, class, and of course the controller for our um, main.fxml file. Now let's try to open up our main.fxml file and then you know, add the table view control inside our JavaFX application. So I'm just going to get rid of this um, button and label here. And I'm going to resize this, for example, like this. And then we could add the table view and then we could, you know, search this, the table view inside our library. So we have here table view. Okay, and then we could, you know, just drag and drop it here inside our uh, anchor pane. So we could resize this, something like this. And as you can see here, the default, it has like two columns, right? For example, the C1 and C2. So the C1, it should be the ID of the employee. And then the second column will be first name. So this is where we, you know, would display the, the first name of the employee. And then, of course, we could add the, the third column. So we could change this into last name. And then add one for the age of the employee. Okay. So we need to set the ID of our table view so we could access this inside our main controller file. And as you can see, if we try to go to the code, it is empty for now. So we could see, uh, we could add here like table view. Okay. And then we should do the same for the different columns. Okay. So ID. So you could say here column ID or call ID and then call first name. This one is called last name. And then the last one is called age. Okay. So we could save this and let's go back to our NetBeans IDE and try to populate our table view. Okay, so in order for us to populate a table view, we need to, you know, use a class or like a Pojo class. And then we will use that Pojo class in order to display list of employee inside our JavaFX application. So for now, let's just update our main controller. And then we have here all the necessary elements that we could use the table view and of course, the different columns. Right now, let's create another class, and this will be the bin or pojo class for our employee. Okay, and then our employee will have the four attributes okay, the ID, the first name, so this will be private, final, and then integer ID, and then we could, you know, do the same. For the other four but let's change the type for this a string and then first name this will be string also for the last name and then we could use integer for the age okay so we could do and add the customer or i mean constructor here 
So insert code and then constructor. And then we could select all the, the attributes or fields that could be initialized inside our constructor. So click on generate. Okay. And then we could, you know, uh, generate the getters for our property or, you know, the attributes. So what we could do here is insert code and then we could say select the getter and then select all the attributes. Okay. So we now have the basic um, structure of our employee.java file and then we have the constructor and of course the um, getters for our attributes. So we're going to modify this and we're going to use the property. Actually guys, you could um, use this uh, like this, but I think it, it is pretty easy to use the property if you want to uh, work with the table view. Okay, so what we what we will do here is modify this. So instead of integer, we're going to say here simple integer property. And I think we already have discussed how you can create property in JavaFX. So I have a tutorial for that that is included in this particular video tutorial series. So if you want to learn more about that, you could go ahead and, you know, search the property discussion that we have for this particular series. So simple integer property and we should do the same for the uh, age field. And of course, here we need to change this also to simple string property. Okay, and then we could also do the same for the last name. And all we need is to import this and of course this also. And we're getting an error here from our constructor. That's because uh, it's not or it's going to complain that we're using the simple string property here. And then we're using integer right here. So that's not compatible. So that what we can do here is add the new simple um, integer property and then we're we're going to enclose the id for that so a new simple property and then do the same for our age okay and then for the first name of course it is the string string property and enclose the first name and this is also string property and enclose also the last name so of course it's going to complain the getters because as you can see we're, we're returning integer and string and um, string and integer here but our property id or our attribute id is simple integer property so what we can do here is instead of um, returning directly the id you could you know add the get method here okay so you could do the same for the first name the last name and of course the age okay so that's it i think that's it for our employee.java file and then we can use this inside our uh, main controller that java file and we're going to add or modify this file to actually include the employee that we have created okay so as you can see here the table view the type is unknown so we want to display employee inside this table view so what we can do is you know add the employee there and of course we could do the same for the table column and then we could specify the type integer and here the type um, employee and string employee and string also and do the same for our employee and integer for our page column okay and after that, guys, we could define the list of our employee that, that could be added into our um, table. So before the initialize, actually, we could remove this. 
handlebar and action. We're not going to use that. And um, we could define here the list that will be included inside our employee list of, or I mean table of employees. So public observable list, we're going to use the observable list here. And then the type, of course, is employee. And then we're going to say list. And then fx collections and then observable array list open and close parentheses and then we could import this classes okay and then inside here of course the actual element for our table so that will be like new employee. This will be the list of all the employees that we could display inside our um, table. So in order for us to um, initialize our employee, we need to specify the ID, this, the first name, last name, and age. So for example, the first one is, the, uh, the ID is one, and then the name, first name is Mark. And then the last name is Cuban, Mark Cuban. And then the age is 45, something like that. And of course, we need to uh, remove that semicolon. And then we could add the another uh, employee. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay. And then we could make the IDs 3, 4, five and six so what we're doing here guys is just basically we're populating the list and then after populate uh, populating this we could display this into our table so for example elise and then uh, the last name is um, maybe bin and then 35 and then gene um, copper the age is 22 and employee number 4 will be John Doe the age is 45 and the employee number 5 is Bill Gates Age is maybe 60, we don't know exactly, 68 or something. And maybe we could remove this, we only need 5. Okay, so we now have the list of employees, there are 5. And then after this, we need to go to our initialize method. And in here, we need to set the value factory of the columns. So we have here the call ID, right? And then we could set the set uh, cell value factory and it should um, use the new property value factory and then we can specify the, the type as employee and then integer. And of course, we need to specify the actual attribute from our employee um, class. So this is the ID, right? So new property value factory, employee and integer. And then we need to import this class uh, property value factory. And then we could do the same for the other columns, right? So call ID and then first name and then last name and then age right so we need to specify also that this is going to be a string same with the last name and the attribute is first name oops so last name and then age okay so in here guys we could after this we could you know set the items to our table 
But so for example, you want to add label to your um, table. So what, what you can do is add a new label. So for example, there are no no items inside your list. You can say here table uh, table view and then uh, set placeholder and then you could specify the node which is new label and in here you could say no rows to display something like this so let's try this first save our project and then um, clean and build okay and run so as you can see here we're getting no rows to display because we set that as the placeholder for our table uh, table view so we have your id first name last name and age so we could now add the list to our table view so we're, we just need to specify something like this let me comment this one out for now and then table view and then set table view set items and then list right there and then could save this and run our project and as you can see we now have this particular um, output so we have here the different employees that we have added and then of course guys by default you could um sort this ascending or descending depending on your preference the same with the other columns okay so that's how easy for us to use the table view to actually display list of you know objects or properties so we're using for example this one is employee and we have four columns the id first name last name and age okay so if you have question uh if you have questions guys please comment down below if you have questions and uh, i'll try to answer all your questions i think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial thank you for watching and see you in the next video